Every single time something really bad happens to me and Julius, we are blessed with some of our greatest blessings. Greatest so blessings. I know this was definitely the hardest thing we've had to go through, so I know we have the most amazing future nearby. All right. Here, like that. Okay. I'm gonna take this off you. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed because I don't wanna look yet. Okay, open. Shut up. You're lying. Oh my god. Shut up. Babe, okay, what do you think? Do you see any growth? Uh. I'm nine weeks. <laughs> what do you think? Look, Theo. What? <laughs> no. Actually, just went into the doctor's appointment. This is like, it's really, really crazy, guys. It's really like emotional. Uh, I know God has a very, very big plan for us. You know, he works in mysterious ways. And I just think this is, it's, it's our time. God is going to bless us. I have something for you. There's our baby in there. Let me see. <laughs> and there was a really strong heartbeat. <laughs> so my due date is October 17th. Oh, look. A little profile for you guys. Look. Do you guys see a little nose right there? Mm -hmm. Eye. That's the forehead. What? Ah! Days. So we're in the labor delivery room. This is where we will be having the baby boy at right there. We are 28 weeks and six days. We have grown a lot. What do you think, babe? Huge. Huge. I I feel like it's always one thing after another. It's okay, babe. It's That's like what I'm one saying, thing God. After one thing, then something else comes up. The way everything is going is how it's supposed to go. This is our pregnancy journey. This is not anybody else's pregnancy journey. This is how Julius and Destiny went through their pregnancy. God puts his strongest soldiers in the hardest battle. At the end of the day, everything is going to be worth it because our beautiful son is going to be here. 36 weeks, we are really, really close to giving birth. Baby Brown is going to be here any week now. Belly is huge and this is the last day. Last day I'm gonna have him inside my belly. I'm super excited to meet my baby boy. Today is a big day, pretty much the biggest day of our entire life. Ooh. We are about to head to the hospital right now. I have a scheduled C-section at 10 a.m. today. I have a scheduled C-section because my baby is still breech, mm -hmm. but we are going to try to turn the baby today, so I'm gonna be having what's called an ECV procedure, and if he successfully turns, then I'll be getting induced today. If he does not, then we'll be having a C-section, but either way, we are just praying for a safe delivery and a healthy baby boy. <laughs> we are super excited. 
We're actually kind of like running a little bit late, so we do got to start getting to the hospital. So we're going to just take you guys with us throughout this whole entire journey. So we hope you guys are ready and let's go to the hospital. Where are we at? We are at the hospital. Ooh, we're the checked hospital. in. Well, we're, this is like the, still kind of like the check-in area, huh? Yeah. What she, did she say we do here? So she said that we stay here, check in, and do all the monitoring and stuff real quick. And then we go to the operation room, I guess. And then from the op room, we go to the recovery room. You still go to the op, op room for the turning the baby. And then after oh, that- Oh, you asked her about that too? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then after that, whatever. And you wait here? Yeah, I think I wait in here. And then from there, we go to the recovery room. But if I get induced, then I go to a different room, right? Yeah. Not the operating room yeah. or the operating room? Still? You still go to the operating room. How many operating rooms are there? You, well, you go to one operating room, one recovery room, and then one postpartum room. So it's three the different The recovery rooms. is the same as the postpartum. No, it's not. No? No. Okay, okay. you ready? I'm ready. Oh my goodness. And you guys, Julius can't be in the room for the ECB procedure, but obviously he can be there for either the C-section or if I'm getting induced, but for the ECB, he can't be in the room. But it's cool though. Which I'm kind of sad about. We gonna be good. <sighs> Should I lay down or no? This is like a surreal moment, guys. I'm not gonna so cap. This is kind of crazy. You're nervous. I was nervous. I kind of broke down earlier in the car. I was crying. Just because this is like a moment we've been waiting for for so long and it's like finally coming true and it's just like we get to hold him and just be with him and you know what I'm saying, comfort him and all that stuff. But we ain't going to get no emotional right now. We we about to turn up in here. How we came into Yeah, we came into the hospital. We came into the hospital like we moved here. <laughs> Look at all these bags. <laughs> Oh most of goodness. it is yours. No, most of it is yours. No, I only have the small suitcase and the You got small box. suitcase, that, that's babies, that's mine, that's destinies. No, all that's Joey. And then, yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just talked to the anesthesiologist and we're all hooked up here with the monitors and stuff, monitoring the baby and contractions and all that. And soon, not that long, we're gonna go in for some spinal anesthesia, which is what you get when you have a C-section. I'm getting a little bit nervous now. Are you good though? We good. We chilling. Oh, Luke is like, I don't know, everybody's like telling me all the different stuff. And it's yeah, but they like, have to, but that's just their protocol. No, I know. I'm just, no, it's just like talking about it. It's like becoming like super, real. super, super real. Like, oh my gosh, wait, like in like an hour? I don't know. Wait a second. Julius can't be in the room for the anesthesia part either. Yeah, I can't be in the uh, room for anesthesia part. The doctor said because um, you know they there's. I gotta be a big girl. Yeah, there's a lot, and there's also like a lot of people, I guess that faint. you know what I'm saying <laughs> faint, like their partners faint. Um, honestly, I don't feel like I'm gonna be one of those. You know what I'm saying? You get sick though. You I throw think up. the only thing that would happen that could be a possibility is me throwing up, but I think that's a very little possibility. 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 I don't know. I think I'm doing pretty good, guys. Wait, are you getting nervous or anxious? No, I'm. I was super anxious this morning when I woke up. Right when I woke up, I had to take a fat Gunther, but it's My all good. My heart rate is like pretty high. I think I'm super nervous. You're good though, baby. We about to get through. Give me some. We gonna see our little I'm baby. To, like, relax. And we gonna see our baby in about an hour if the ecb doesn't work we're probably gonna be seeing our baby within like the next hour and a half isn't that crazy I'm nervous babe it's okay baby you Sorry got it freak out a little no you got it don't you want to see him just have him right there on your chest and yeah, just but it's going so comfort quick. i feel like it's going quick already no it's cool though we're good i feel like it's going really quick we got this babe i Trust thought it was me. gonna be like a super long thing Bro, we got this. Hey, just know, guys, we got this. We're waiting for all the other doctors to come in to introduce themselves and everything. And then she has to go get her spinal anesthesia. And basically, that's going to make her numb from, like, her chest down. So she's not going to be able to walk or feel anything for a while. But they did say that she might be able to eat, like, I think that pretty she soon might, after. I think she meant after the C-section. What? I think she meant, like, I can eat after. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. 
still a while. Yeah, but you know, baby, you gonna get through it. We gonna get through it. I'm not gonna eat until she eats. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get. We gonna be in this together. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry, but I ain't gonna eat, baby, because I know you hungry. So we gonna wait for you too. I had to wash with the like the the soap that they give you for the C-section, and like you can't put on like any lotion or anything after when i tell you my legs are so dry like it's actually embarrassing can we look at them no hey, like, let's just look at them look, look, no. look, 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 look. oh my god what is the oh my Babe, stop what are those? and i'm not allowed to shave either okay boom i it's couldn't cool. shave my legs either hey listen so we understand that baby you still sexy <laughs> Don't make me get up on this bed with you, girl. No, I'm just not. Nah, but we should though, because six bed. weeks though, baby. You know what I'm saying? Only got six weeks. You better weeks, stop. Man. I can fit on there too with you. No, you can't. Stay tuned, guys. You know what I'm saying? Baby Brown is about to be here. Oh my goodness. Alright, guys, so it's a little bit later. We had some big decisions to make and Everything has been pretty emotional for me. Um, it's just a lot, so many decisions. Um, but so basically, the anesthesiologist didn't really want to give me the spinal anesthesia before the version, but. We also didn't want to try the version without any spinal anesthesia just in case, you know, something were to go wrong and baby didn't like it. So instead, we are opting for something called like a, it's a spinal epidural combo. So I'm going to be getting like a smaller dose of spinal anesthesia combined with an epidural before they try the version and then I'll just have to have my c-section with that if it does not work um, I'm a little bit disappointed just because the doctor doesn't really think that the version will work but I really still have my heart set on at least trying it so that's what we're gonna do just so that I can just accept everything and move forward either way knowing that we did try everything that we could Julius? Having a baby is stressful, you guys. Alright guys, I'm going in. Going in. Alright guys, so I'm officially in the recovery room. Destiny already went back. I'm super like anxious and nervous. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of risk to pregnancy. You know, I just want to make sure that Destiny and my baby are okay. And yeah, but this is this is gonna be smooth. I think it's gonna be okay. I think everything's gonna go good. It's the recovery room, you know what I'm saying? My baby boy is gonna be in there, you know what I'm saying? Chilling, mommy's gonna be right here, and daddy's always gonna be by their side. But for right now, I'm about to just take some deep breaths and relax because we just had to go through a lot of stuff just now. A lot of decisions and stuff like that that we had to make. So I'm gonna just chill. I'll try to pick the camera up in a little bit and show you guys more of the stuff and all that but for now we love you guys we appreciate all of you guys watching us you know what i'm saying all of you guys have been there since the day that we found out we were pregnant and all that stuff like we love you guys so much this is crazy Okay guys, so I just heard from the doctor. Unfortunately, the baby didn't flip, but good news is Destiny is okay. Like, you guys understand, like this is the most stressful stuff I've ever dealt with. Like, I love Destiny so much and I just, I gotta make sure my baby and my other baby is okay and they just stay good. I gotta get scrubbed up right now because it's time to actually meet my baby boy. Oh my god, I'm about to meet my baby boy. I'm about to cry. Wait, with the buttons in the front. Did I put this? I think I put this the wrong way. Oh, I think I did. Put it the right way, actually. Man, this thing hard to get on. God, I'm literally about to meet my son right now. Like, this is the best feeling I've ever felt in my whole entire life. Like better than anything, literally. I love him already. Hey, we in here, dog. 
What are these? Anybody know what these are? It's called Dr. Julius. I'm here. Hello. It's time, guys. It's been a lot of crazy stuff that's been happening since we've been here, but it is officially time for me to meet my son, and I'm about to go into the operating room, and I'm going to see my son, guys. Like, I'm so, like, <sighs> I feel so good. I know Destiny is super excited. It's time to see my boy. Oh, my God. Destiny, I love you so much. Baby Brown, you're my world. Let's get it. How you feel? Um, I'm excited to meet him. I'm back. Huh? I'm excited to meet him. Are you excited? You're so excited, man. 